Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of EU4 as the Golden Horde. We're doing okay with Mold Muscovy again. So now we're gonna wait for the truce, or rather the um, course to finish. That's the next objective then, and then we're gonna fight Jaroslav. Um, if we had... actually we need a CB on them, don't we? No we don't, we have the superiority goal, which is what we need. Um, because we're going to make them a tributary. And then we're going to, well, at the same time, devour as much as we can of Muscovy and Novgorod, because it's going to break both of the truces. We'll have to fight them alone, but I do think we're going to be able to do that just fine at this point. But I need everything here to be caught, so that's going to be next, after we finish Nogai. Um, there is also this ma the matter of fighting uh, the Karakunlo, and use the Ottomans for that. But it's not really that pressing a concern anymore, because he's gone a pacifist. At least for the time being. And he doesn't even have claims or anything on that land, so... It should be fine. In the meantime, we're having some upstarts on the other side here. And that's the other thing. I don't probably don't want to conquer too much down here, because there's still quite a bit of... ...aggressive expansion to be rid of. Um, speaking of, do I have anyone running around with the upset countries at the moment? I do have one. And I don't think we're gonna scrap this one. No point in improving relations with Novgorod. We're gonna be at war with them soon. First things first though. Uh, anyway, we intercept the rebel army. They're gonna beat us, most likely. We didn't pay for the rebel cross the river crossing though. Yeah, no longer a valid rival, we knew that would happen. And now we're forced to pick another one. That is unfortunate, because now our options are very limited. We cannot pick the Ottomans, we cannot pick the, uh, the, the Poland. Picking Ming is a bit... Um, yeah, uh, and then there's Austria. So... <laughs> I don't know. The advantage of going Austria is that they're now currently rival to both the Ottomans and Poland. So that would make both of these guys more happy, happy about me. And... Um, I don't think Austria can project power my way, but their alliance network is terrifying. It is utterly terrifying. I do think that's our best option though. I would love to fight Ming. I really would. But, uh, rather, I would love to, for them to attack me so I could b bring both my friends and murder them dead. But that's not gonna happen for a very, 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 very long time. I'm afraid. We're gonna have to grow quite a bit stronger. Though their armies are. Uh, yeah, we are growing. If I can make them lose the mana of heaven then we just might be able to do something about them. Yeah, I do think Austria is going to be our best bet. Unfortunately, I think that's going to, what's going to happen is that now, now Poland or the Ottomans or both are going to become so strong that they cannot rival Austria anymore. Technically, we're stronger than them, but that's not by much. And of course, they hit our guts and yeah, Austria it is. Natural rival for us, right? I just don't dare go with with uh, Ming. Ming is just too big. Are we gonna kill all our troops? Oh, you might kill all our, all our troops if we don't retreat, so let's run away. It still slowed him down, so now our main force is gonna get here, hopefully before he starts unseaging things. What did you, who did you ally? Oh, right, we broke the alliance with Sweet. I can't forget about that. Yeah, that's a bit problematic. Anyway, now we have rival of rival. Or allied rival and common rivals, right? Did you switch? I could have sworn you were a rival to Austria. 
Oh uh, well, but at least we got the Ottomans on our side, so... Oh, right, your rival is Poland. Ah. That's fine, then. Okay, anyway, you're gonna come here and kill that little stack. You're just in retreat, you're moving down there, that's fine. Uh, we have all, uh, all the claims we need on Nagai, that's not gonna be a problem. I can make more claims on Muscovy, right? We already have one on reserve, apparently. Um, will you have time to make another claim? Maybe. Um, I can't start a claim there anyway. Uh, can't start the war. Damn it, you still managed to get the separatism. Crumble. Let's see if we can create one claim on Novgorod proper. Wait, did you get a new monarch already? Yep. Damn it, so much for the peaceful one. He lasted like what, one year or so. Now you have a completely young guy who is a militarist, of course. I want all the lands. All the Nopi doesn't want everything there. Um, well, gosh dang it. Well connected, huh? <laughs> Other AI are more likely to help them indirectly. Seriously, as if they needed that. That was a long retreat for you. But that's okay. Uh, finally, we're gonna get rid of this mess. Okay, we're gonna split you up. We're gonna go here. I could take up, uh, but not just yet. Soon. Because I think, oh yeah, you're all, and actually everything has expired already. Never mind, that's not the problem. The only problem is legalism. We're gonna lose, all right, 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 right. We're gonna be attacking someone who's of our faith. So we're gonna lose legalism. And we're gonna gain legalism again once we declare war on Yaroslav. But that would take a while. Ah, we'll take the tech up now. It's fine, we're, it's no longer ahead of time. Much more techs. Much more techs. This is starting to look like a good idea. That's a sad thing. Just for the missionary. I'm just trying to figure out who would I uh, have to defend. Come on, guys, convert more, please. Uh, how's the Bengal-Ming war going? Yeah, it looks like Ming has finally decided to step on it. And that oh, that something being Bengal. <laughs> yeah, Bengal and Bahmani's armies are gone. Well, actually, no, they're not, but that's 50,000 troops still. I don't know. 
Transoxania is not having a good day. I'm ready to start the next war, but I do think we want to wait a little while longer because of war exhaustion and moving our armies into position. I'm gonna keep trying to placate the local rulers, they're gonna like us at some point. Ah, there's a Chagatai, yeah, that's fine, who cares. We can still get another idea group, not gonna happen for a while there yet though. Um that corruption. It will go down very soon. Let's not invest in it. Instead, I might want to invest in buying down uh, our corruption a bit. Or inflation, rather. Because this is starting to get a bit high. Wait. Uh, maybe I want to split these out. These are becoming a bit large. I think so. Let's switch. Let's split them up a bit. And it's mainly because of our own territory. Uh, we do not have much. Supply limit. So. Kind of want to keep our armies at a reasonable size. 18 is okay ish. Yeah, no guy, it was nice knowing you. Why the hell do we improve relations with you? That's not <laughs> necessary at all. Anyway, that means our war with Curriculum is going to be a bit slower than the or a bit later than the other ones. How much of the money we're making are, are, is from war operations? Uh, not all that much. But enough. Okay, uh, that should be reasonably enough. A few more ticks of reinforcement. We're gonna wait one more month, then we're gonna attack Nogai and eat them alive. And once we finish coring them, we should be owning all our core uh, culture territory. Wait. I thought for a moment that I saw Morocco enforce religious unity, but I can't quite see how that would happen. I don't know, anyway. Um, that's the one I wanted to see. Switzerland will see the province to Austria. Okay. Well, there's still the ruler. And did they pass the second reform? They can't have done that. They must have done that before. Uh, I don't think they've done that after the reformation started. Anyway, uh, group up the army. I think it's time for you to die, my friend. It's gonna be less ag aggressive expansion, so why the hell not? Uh, lower Yik. Is this the guy with the siege? Yes. He has more siege, but I want to fight the battle first, and he can move in and take over. Oh, we have three leaders, so there you go. This should be a quick war, and they're gonna turn our attention back north here and try to sort out these areas. Because the more control we gain over all these all these trade nodes, the better it's gonna be for us. I 
We kind of need Novgorod though to finish this job. There we go, squished. And then the big thing is, are we gonna, are we gonna reform? I mean, there's still this achievement here. That would mean conquering a ton of land, though. Go over there, we can switch you out. Arrive on the 16th. <sighs> okay, anyway, I'm gonna pause for a second, just to have a... So that grazing achievement, 200 provinces with grain or cattle, basically. Let's see if we can find, it's under economic, isn't it? Trade goods. Well, there is quite a few of those provinces up here, but that's Ming territory by the most, for the most part. So that's going to be kind of difficult to get. And that's grain. Which is kind of scattered, so if I wanted to push for that achievement, I'd have to stay a tribal government for a very, very long time. And we basically have to get all the stuff, and we have to conquer the way in here. We'd have to conquer everything around here. Pretty much all of Asia. We'd have to pretty much do the same conquest that we're supposed to do. But I have to, just, I have to stay a tribal government the whole time. Right? As a horde. Yeah, we have to just remain a horde. And I don't think I want to do that as this as a gold lord. I think I would rather try to do that as Manchu. So we can expand with the banners and all that. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, we are going to worry about... Well, we're gonna get the cowardly tactics, I think, at some point. Unify Islam, that's not gonna happen, I think. Uh, I hope this isn't gonna die, happen. Die, please die. 100% army drill. Well, after we reform, that might be an option. We're gonna start drilling then. Uh, that's probably not gonna happen either. We'll see. This one, we're not really gonna conquer the world, so no. Maybe multicultural. Actually, multiculturalism will require you to have uh, humanism ideas, I think. Not entirely sure. I don't think it's possible to get this one out without, without humanism, because you need the diversion. Anyway, Great Khan is the one we're going to go for. That's a lot of territory left to conquer. But we don't have to be a horde to do it, right? We just have to start as Mongolia or the Great Horde. Someday I have to go for the White Company. That's an easy achievement, I just have never actually tried to get it. Reasonably easy. And I've kind of ignored the whole tributary thing. That's gonna be if I ever play Ming. Try turning the tide, we're gonna go for that. And... Wait, did we? Oh! Right, Samarkand was 32 development, I forgot that. <laughs> so we got Pyramidal Skulls. That was unplanned. That was completely unplanned, but I'll take that. I hadn't thought about that Toronto Saxon has been developing their capital so much. Good news all around. Anyway, we're going to reform, I think, so we're not going to worry too much about that. That means we're going to be... Alright, Noble Customs, because I can't go this one anymore. Yeah, that's Noble Customs it is. It's going to finish Aristocracy. It's going to finish this idea too. More trade power. More mercenaries, more shock for new leaders, or siege for new leaders. And that's rather nice. Uh, so we still need uh, 800 points to finish off admin ideas, which is probably what they're going to be spending our points on now. This one's way ahead of time, so... And we're still going to conquer a bit more, so... Didn't we have an idea to uh, for development? Yes, we do. That idea kind of makes me want to switch out to economic. And just have very cheap development. 
But it's gonna be so situational even then, because we're gonna be con conquering land to expand, right? Or to grow. Uh, so it's gonna be very situational when you have extra points to spare for this. Would be nice though. I mean, that's a lot of money. It's also a lot of admin points. We'd be better served if we're gonna go for admin point, admin ideas. I think we'd be better served with either religious or expansion at this point. But I do think it's gonna be influence. We're gonna go for um, influence or exploration. I'm fairly certain it's gonna be a diplomatic idea because our next king is not gonna be a military genius, so we're not really gonna have points to spare for this. Uh, admin points, we're constantly going to use that to uh, eat more land, so... Uh, that's not really the one I want to go for next. Maybe the one after that again, as the fourth idea group. Then we might want to go one over here. Then it's probably going to be religious. Or I could go relig religious right now and only take like the first idea. Wouldn't be a bad idea either. Because it would let us convert faster. No, I think really this is going to be our fourth. Uh, actually, no. Can I afford it, though? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I dare. I mean, we still have to integrate our subjects too, at some point. Yeah, we're gonna have to go over this as a fourth idea group. We're gonna have to suffer the the pro problems until we get the fourth idea group, which isn't gonna be until. Yeah, when is that gonna be? That's gonna be twelve years for the next tech. That's 12, and then another 2 for before we get the next jump, right? So that's gonna be like uh, 40 years. 40 years of um, very slow conversion rates. Very bad religious unity. But I think we'll have to do it. Yeah, I, th I think we have to go with influence first. Yeah, we're gonna go with influence. I'm still gonna tech up first though, because I want to be on par with tech so we can keep their... Uh, uh, <laughs> ...their unity down. Yeah, better tech, that's kind of, kind of important. They have better tech. And that ain't good. Anyway, let's remove this log again. It's just gonna be... Just gonna be obnoxious. You're gonna move in on the 16th. Move out. Yeah, right. You moved your capital again since I took your capital. Where, where, is, where did you set up shop this time? In Wologda. Okay, got it. Yeah, at the start of 1533, we're gonna start a war with. Yaroslav, and we'll see who joins. Maybe, maybe it'll take a bit longer than that. I need him to finish coring this. I don't need our subject to have more trouble than they already do. Uh, profiteering in Tver.
It doesn't really matter either way. Truth be told. Gonna go with this. It's fine. Bit more revolt risk here, but this province was already converted, so... Wait a second, was that the whole... Forgot to check if it was the state or if it was the province. Then again, we don't own anything else in that province, in that state, so that's fine. Um, Jotun mercenary companies... Doesn't matter to us one bit, since we don't have mercs. And this war is going to work pretty quick. I wonder how much the Timurids are going to eat, though. Oh, there we go. Converted. One more. Let's finish the state. Gonna have to try. Uh, and I probably should get these next. Just so we don't have constantly have a revolt risk going up up there. It's fine to have some disagreements here and down there. But not all over the place. Like up there. It's gonna be rather annoying to constantly have to go there and uh, basically beat down rebels. Speaking of... Um... Hmm. There are gonna be a few. There are gonna be a few. Not just yet, though. And we're still making quite a lot of money right now. That isn't from pillaging either. Hmm. There we go, the guy's done. Let's end this before we end the episode. And all of that, so that's going to piss off a few countries. The Timurids are pretty much the only one that can really join the coalition. And they might well do that. Uh, you're going to also give up a whole bunch of territory. And uh, whatever money you have left. Peace that out. Pillage and burn. Autonomy. Core them over. Move on to the border up here. And uh, that's that, I think. That should have unified our culture group. I might have to core them over first. Yeah, I'm going to have to core them first. But I do own them now. Right? These are all the Tatar cultures. Yes, I should own them all now, so that should be fine. We'll find out next time, I guess. Time for a break, and then we're most likely going to try to do some shenanigans with uh, Yaroslav and friends as soon as we finish coring this stuff. And hopefully that's going to trigger the... Uh, hopefully that's going to bring in both Novgorod and Muscovy. And we'll be able to, you know, secure the border here and the border there, maybe. We'll see what happens. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.